Okay. Um, I'd like to get started on time. There are, there are various stories about um, stoppages and jams and things on the London Underground, but uh, I guess if we wait for them to be cleared, we wouldn't get started till about 10 o'clock. So we'll get underway. Some of you will have seen this vi little video before. Um, this is, I suppose, from the heyday of. Um, onshore exploration in, actually in Persia, as it was. Uh, it's obviously a properties of uh, Anglo-Persian, Anglo-Iranian, British Petroleum, uh, whatever they will be called next. Um, wholly owned subsidiary of ExxonMobil, I suppose. Um, but how onshore exploration used to be done. Um, so welcome to this morning. Um, a couple of, couple of messages and then we'll just get straight into it. Um, first one is, as always, um, there's no intention to have a practice fire drill here, um, which means that if the alarm goes off and they will be, the sound will be uh, inescapable and unavoidable, we are to leave. The um, fire exits are marked. Uh, there's three I can see from here. I think there's a fourth one in that corner. And we head out and meet up in the plaza or piazza in front of the Royal Academy. And then we obviously have a list of everybody who's here so we can do a roll call. Um, as I say, nothing's expected, so if anything happens, it's the real thing. Um, now, the other thing is, um, although our industry has got a well-deserved reputation of being extremely conservative in the um, deployment of new technologies. Um, uh, it's not um, conservative in the use of mobile phones, uh, apparently. <laughs> and um, I always have to say, and somebody always forgets or disagrees with the idea, um, please make sure your phones are switched off. Um, and I'll tell you again at the last or the one before um, session we had here in January, uh, one fairly elderly chap, uh, not quite as old as me, did come up to me and say, if the young lady in front of me texts any more on a Blackberry and makes that infernal clicking noise, I shall strangle her during the least interesting presentation. <laughs> so I, I thought that was a challenge in two ways. Um, so anybody, young ladies or otherwise, who have Blackberries or any other device that sends text messages, uh, please desist and preferably switch them off. But if you must be in contact with the outside world, then on silent or some other uh, non-interfering non mechanism. Now, when I started planning this forum, and you know, one of, one of the more difficult jobs for these events, particularly as we increase the numbers uh, of events, is to keep on thinking of... Um, the right topics and you know when we started it was fairly easy uh, let's have one on geophysical technology and let's have one on exploration it seems pretty pretty straightforward now it gets more di difficult and, and and more tricky um, this time I was motivated by the observation that deep water exploration which is really underpinned uh, oil and gas discoveries over the last 10 years, maybe 15 actually, um, and has also driven the incomes of oil field service companies at least by their, by their seismic arms, um, by a 3D seismic and of course drilling companies. That has become so extraordinarily expensive, um, whether in exploratory drilling or in developments. And as I'm sure you, you're... Um, board with me saying occasionally I'm on the board of Tullo Oil and you know when you look at some of the costs we have for drilling deep water wells and uh, then developing discoveries they're just extraordinary I mean compared with what you would have thought about 15 years ago or even 10 years ago just absolutely mind-boggling um, so I think personally and I, I don't think I'm alone in thinking this that there will be a move of explorers particularly smaller explorers uh, who can't carry these big costs to um, move back on shore. 
and in that sense, return to the past, um, but not to the technologies. Um, I suppose a horse is a kind of technology um, that um, we used in the past. And, and in my mind, and I think in other people's, you have to look for technology breakthroughs occurring, which are equivalent to the fantastic breakthroughs that have been in, for example, 3D seismic, which you know, between 92 and 2002 transformed the world of exploration and, and, and has happened again since offshore. You know, first of all, to getting huge, huge exploration 3Ds and then fantastic resolution in the, the latest era and subsalt and so on and so forth. And I think you have to look for technology breakthroughs like that uh, to, to aid what's going on onshore. So that's what this forum is about. Um, to get us into uh, the rationale, uh, to put some meat on the, um, the story of why explorers should move on shore, are there resources there? Uh, Ivan Sandrea is going to uh, give the opening talk. Ivan has a history of uh, working, in, working for BP, uh, seeing sense and moving to Stator and then moving to uh, energy intelligence and um, is now involved, for example, with Petra Energia and other small companies. And uh, Ivan is going to take us through uh, the logic of really why onshore and, um, and where the technology might, might take us. So, Ivan, over to you. And 